Hi guys. So as you can see, things have moved on slightly. I have marked it out, cut it out, drilled the holes for the entrance. I've also drilled some holes for the nails. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm just doing it because it makes it easier and it's a bit more accurate so you don't split the wood out. But as I say, you don't need to do it. You can just hammer the nails in if you feel comfortable doing so. And I've laid it out. As you say, it looks like a bit like a rocket. We've got the two sides that have got a pointy end. We've got a roof. And they do, the roofs do have slopes on them. You'll find out why in a minute. The front, again, it's got a slope on it as you can see. And we've got our back and our base. So the first bits we need is we can get rid of the base. We get rid of the small bit of the base, the big bit at the back. And we don't need the roof at the moment. So all we need are the two sides and the front. And what we're going to do is we're going to line it up. And this is why we had that slope on it before, because as you can see, it marries up quite nicely. Whereas if you had, if you didn't put that curve on it, oops, excuse me, you can see it's a, it's a bad, it's a bad angle. So what we do is we line these up. I tend to think about it like making a little tunnel. I'm making sure that the slope of the start, the top, the back, marries with the front. And then we're going to take our nails, put them in, and we're going to take our hammer, excuse the noise, and we're just going to make sure it's flush all around. And we'll do that for the other one. And the other side as well. So as you can see, once you've done the prep, these boxes go together very quickly. It's just a case of marking once, measuring twice, cutting once. And just taking your time and not rushing it. So once we've made the tunnel, we'll make sure everything's square, make sure there are no nails sticking out into the box. The next bit we're going to need is the big long back. Now when you're putting your back on, you need to make sure that you don't put it too far to the top. I'm sorry, I'll hold it this way. Too far to the top, because you won't be able to get the roof on, or too far to the bottom, because you won't be able to put a nail in it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to nail it to the wall, or the, tr or the tree, and we need to make sure we can get two nails in. So, we're going to put it on to the, get this right, on here and again what I tend to do is line it up one side nail one side in and then I do the other side so again I've pre-drilled these holes you can as I said do it yourself without the holes if you feel comfortable and confident make sure it's smooth one Once you've done one side, turn around, and as you can see, my box has gone a wee bit, just here it sticks out, just a wee bit from the edge. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to hammer in at this side first, because that's the side that's closest to being in line. So I'll put that nail in, and then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to lay this nail in, and I'm just going to give this bit of the box, just a wee push. I'm not sure if you can see that. Try and zoom in. I'm going to give this bit of the box here just a wee bit of push in. And if you watch this, it... And if you can see there, it's actually brought it nice and flush. Oop, sorry, wrong way. And then once you've got that one in, put in the last nail, and again we'll just check that we've got no nails sticking out through the box. Our next stage can be a bit tricky. What we need to do, <coughs> excuse me, is we need to put the base 
into the box. Now as you can see, it's going to be a bit of a tight fit. So, what we, so the best way I've always found to do it is to put the front of the box, if you put this bit here in first, and then lay this bit here down against the back. And then just take your hammer, I balance it on the table because it's a little bit more secure, and just gently, just gently tap the box to base it in. And then what we're going to do is again take our nails and put the nails in just to stop the base falling out. As you saw, as you saw, it was quite a tight fit, so it's not likely to fall out. Nope. It's not likely to fall out, but that just makes sure. So once you've got to this stage, we should have a box with no nails sticking out inside of it and all nice and secure. So for the next bit, we're going to get rid of our box and we're going to grab our roof. Now this is a tricky bit and some people get this wrong. We're going to put some felt on it so we can use it as a hinge. But the mistake that some people make is they nail it to the box first and then they try and hammer the nails into the roof. Problem with that is the wood's quite weak and you're hammering into it so there's a chance it will, it will split. So the best way to do it, I've always found, is to hold it just like this. Take your back, your hinge that you've already cut. Now I've just cut it to the width of the roof and about the length of the roof. It doesn't have to be that long, but that's what I've cut. So I'm going to lay it up against the back, just under the nail hole, the mounting hole, and I'm going to push it in. Just zoom you in. And I'm just going to push it into that area there and then lie it down. Once it's here, what we do is we take it away, like that, and just lay it down. Now you'll notice that these nails, sorry I should have shown you the other nails, the other nails are sort of normal nails that you'll have seen, these ones are more like felt nails or clout nails. You can see them if I do, come on focus. They're just short nails anyway, and we're just going to put about half a dozen, three up each side, just enough to hold it. I tend to try, oh, I tend to try and make sure that I get one right near the hinge area. Actually, let's not put six, let's just put five. Let's just make it look like the number five on a dice. Looks nice. And as you can see, I've also made sure that the slope has the high bit up by the hinge. And you'll see why in a minute. Because what we're going to do is we're going to bring our box back in. I'm just going to turn it over. And I'm just going to take the, sorry, take the hinge and the roof, lay it down and push it hard into that corner. And as you can see, it fits in there very nicely. And then we're just going to take a few more nails and we're just going to do the same. So excuse hands, they are going to be in the way for a minute. So at this point, we'll notice that our box is pretty much, pretty much done. There's only one more thing we can do. If it's in a wind, that's obviously going to bounce up and down and it's going to disturb the birds. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some wire staples and we're going to create a lock or latch. So what we're going to do is just about, 
you can see roughly where we are. Just about here. We're going to put one in on the roof. Now you'll have to be careful with these because these are tricky little nails to put in. They're more like, you're more likely to hit your fingers with these. And the other one is just going in on the front, as you can see. Well demonstrated. And our last thing is, you just see there's a wire, a little bit of wire here. We're just going to put this in. Oops. Just put it in, zoom you in. And then we're just going to wrap it round. That goes on there like so. And we'll take our pliers and all we're going to do is just trim off the excess. And then take this bit here, put it down through and that just acts as a lock. So the reason we do that stage is because if you want to check your bird boxes or empty your bird boxes, the, the easiest way to get in is without tools and that is the simplest way. If you're not worried about checking them or emptying them too much, by all means just put a couple of screws down through the top into the, and that'll hold it on. But apart from that, that's your bird box ready to go. Now when you put it up, I would put it up on a, don't put it on a, on a dead south facing wall or a north facing wall because it'll either be too hot or too cold. The best way to put it is either southeast or southwest. That way it picks up the sun, it pick up the sun coming in in the morning or the sun going down at night without being getting the eggs too hot. 